Today is um, is the initial um, start of our uh, approved applicants coming in as a meet and greet. Simply, um, we've had well over 1,300 applications, um, and we've tried to narrow it down to about 70 some. And I like a job interview. It's putting a face with the name, seeing how they interact with the dogs, how the dogs react to them, um, and then kind of go from there and kind of make our notes. And then if there's kind of standout applicants, um, then then we'll start scheduling um, um, other meet and greets or other other dates uh, appointments. Please keep in mind that um, um, if you do not get a, a dog from this event, there are lots of dogs and cats and all kinds of animals out there in shelters and rescues um, all across the country seeking homes. Um, please don't give up here. Do keep in mind that this is a very long, timely, patient process. Um, if you're going to add a new family member to your family, it's not an overnight decision. Uh, we kind of really kind of want to emphasize um, why we had to kind of transfer so many out. That was kind of a big question. Um, our shelter is very small. We hold 36 adult dogs and six puppies. It's just not reality um, to keep 380 some odd dogs plus our main population. It's very important to, uh, to kind of realize where they came from and what they did or didn't have. Conditions were horrible, um, but um, I mean, the, the dogs were living in, in feces and came in encrusted in feces. I mean, they, they never felt the, they, they never had the sensory touch um, or, or compassion, love, or, uh, or the woman didn't state that, um, did state that she never even gave them names. That is so important. So now it's all about the dogs now in a positive, um, a, a positive standpoint now, um, kind of narrowing it down with those well over 1300 apps, um, kind of really trying to kind of pull it all together and find out who's best for who. We're going to do um, a, uh, a thank you party on May 20th from 1 to 7 at the Grill House has donated their silo. So if you held at the silo, the Dan, uh, Dan Don Brown um, has put together six bands. We're going to have a cash bar, food, fun. It'll be a riot. And again, that's like a thank you party. We might do some door prizes or maybe some raffles, but it's not even more of a fundraiser. Um, it's more of a thank you party for everyone that has stepped up and helped us with this. With that, with, Without their help, it, this would have not been possible. Um, the animal shelter has two employees, and uh, and Wishbone is um, is a nonprofit pet rescue group that manages this county shelter, um, and it is ran on the backs of volunteers. and uh, And this would have never been possible without all of the support from the community.